A quick look around the luxury chalet. Seat outside. Veranda, it's sort of uh, not made of real wood, I don't think. Oh, I think it's sort of artificial, but it looks fantastic. And a little place to have breakfast if you're an outside -y sort of person, because those doors open there. Um, everything in blue, two shades of blue, well, blue and white. Well, oh, I'm grey, the carpet's grey. Oh, here we go. Ah. Uh, digital television with sky, bookcase with little artifacts and um, two reclining chairs, shutters, sun, sun, sun blinds, sun blinds, look at this, yes, sun blinds, very functional, most of the things all in blue. Glass top table with uh, shelves and underneath the glass. That there is a lamp. Lots of artwork around. Lovely mobile here with uh, drawer, flying puffins, and a star up in the sky. Fan if it gets too hot. All artwork, drawing of the uh, chalet, not done by me, wood burning stove which we're not allowed to use, but you wouldn't need to anyway because it's nice and warm. My drawing of the um, seaside. Main bedroom. Nice picture of the chalet. And from the main bedroom you can see the the sea. Your car. See nice and calm now. Very rough at the beginning of the week. It's like a wall, about ten feet wall. Cupboards, mirrors. Fridge freezer, oven thing, toaster thing, homebrew thing. This is a hob. Shower, toilet, mirrors, all good stuff. Oh, toilet even goes down slow. Look at that. Bonk, wash area. Are you in there, Victoria? Oh, Victoria's gone. Second bedroom with more art. And artifacts. And that's about it really. Very nice cottage or chalet. Right, bye for now. Hi, it's John. Now, uh, this Friday we've packed up our chalet and um, got everything out, cleaned up. And it's lovely and calm today. And uh, reasonably warm. And the sea is a completely different well, I could say a different animal, but the sea is completely different today. Um, not quite as calm as a mill pond at the moment. I think in the morning when I first looked out, it could be said that it's as calm as a mill pond. Um, but as you can see, it's slightly choppy. 
Um, but uh, I'm not a sea person, but um, you know, I don't feel there's like a lot of sea fishing or sailing in my in my bones, in my genes. It is an absolutely wonderful thing. Thing, <laughs> the sea is a wonderful thing, and um, huge depth in both ways. You know, you know, um, philosophical depth in the sea. And uh, if, if one was living, you know, by fishing and going out on the sea most days of the week, you'd have a completely different perspective on life to us uh, landlubbers view of the sea. Everything changes, the colour, the waves, temperature. I think the uh, even the um, uh, the fish change. Oh, put it! Don't put it here. Put it in their bin. Put it in their bin. <laughs> what have you bought with you? <laughs> I just did my bit of beach coating. I thought it might look that good in their bin. Oh no! Put it in their bin. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I just thought my looks have been having drunken parties. <laughs> oh well. Rather than doing a decent clearing up the beach. Yeah. So uh, as I was saying, the fish change, don't they? Uh, a lot of mackerel caught here um, and I think they come in into, I mean there's such a vast quantity of sea isn't there I mean that's a stupid thing to say but such a lot of it you know and the mackerel have got to come into the beach to feed it and they feed it high tide I think um, I think I might do some sea fishing in the future anyway bye for now <laughs>